presented by Exquisite Timepieces. More about them in the description down below and later in the video. If you ever find yourself in need of a 300 meter water resistant diver with a tough satin brushed ceramic case, ceramic elapsed timing bezel assembly with ceramic bezel insert featuring liquid metal graduations, coming on an outstanding sailcloth strap, the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms Bathyscaph Chronograph might be the watch for you. Oh, and did I mention it's also got an automatic movement with flyback chronograph as well? Yes, this is a top-tier luxury dive watch that has almost every feature that you can throw at it, short of the kitchen sink. And those features, they do come at a price. Over $17,000, as a matter of fact. But then a full ceramic dive watch with flyback chronograph function, it doesn't figure to be a budget timepiece, does it? Now, if you're watching wristwatch videos online, you're very likely no stranger to the Blanc Pond brand. But in case you aren't too familiar, here's a very brief history of the brand. Founded in 1735, Blanc Pond was a family-owned watchmaking business for nearly 200 years, and it's the oldest surviving watch brand in the world. Blanc Pond has been a subsidiary of the Swatch Group since 1992, and it's probably best known for the 50 Fathoms dive watch, introduced in 1953 and considered to be one of the first modern dive watches with a rotating elapsed timing bezel. Now, Blanc Pond isn't considered to be one of the holy trinity of Swiss watch brands, and in my opinion, that's a shame. Those brands would be AP, Patek, and Vacheron. But like Breguet and a handful of other watch brands, Blanc Pond is, at least in my opinion, one of the most important watchmakers in the industry. But enough about that. What about the watch? Well, let's start with some basic specifications, shall we? But first, give me 30 seconds of time so I can thank my channel sponsor for making the content that I create possible. This video is presented in partnership with Exquisite Timepieces, located in Naples, Florida. Exquisite is an authorized dealer of dozens of watch brands, including Seiko and Grand Seiko, Omega, Oris, Blanc Pond, Breguet, and many more. Exquisite also has an amazing selection of pre-owned watches with new inventory coming in daily. So if you're looking for your next watch, check their website, exquisitetimepieces.com, or call their store at 239-227-2932, and let them know that you heard about them from Guy and the Just Blue Fish channel. I can't recommend them enough. Coming in at about 43.5 millimeters in case diameter with a thickness of just over 15 millimeters and a wingspan from lug tip to lug tip of 50 millimeters, this is by no means a small watch. It does feel substantial on the wrist, but I would say in a good way. It's reassuring when you wear it. Now, it is probably a bit large for wrist sizes under 7 inches, unless you prefer wearing a larger watch. But even on my 6 and 3 quarter inch wrist, I'd say that it's doable. As previously mentioned, you are getting a watch with a full ceramic case, bezel assembly, and bezel insert. It does have an anti-reflective sapphire crystal, like you'd expect, and even a sapphire crystal exhibition case back. Now the watch is available in several bracelet and strap configurations, but this example comes on that sail canvas strap with matching black ceramic pin buckle signed with the Blanc Pond name. The movement in this watch is the Blanc Pond Caliber F385 Automatic Chronograph, and I don't think I mentioned this, but it's actually a high beat movement running at 36,000 vibrations per hour. It really is like a Christmas list of high-end watch features on this one. Now this movement is a 37 joule self-winding automatic with a 50 hour power reserve. And it's a vertical clutch flyback chronograph featuring a silicon balance spring. And through the display case back, while it's not overly decorated, it's actually a pretty nice looking movement on top of all of those impressive specifications. Now let's talk about a few of the things that really impressed me with this watch. First, we have the bezel and the crown action. And the bezel, it's very good. The edge texture is crisp and it's tactile and the action is solid and precise. And maybe it's not the absolute best bezel that I've ever tried, but it is right up there. The crown, however, it is without a doubt the best screw down crown I have ever used. Nothing really disappoints me like a tough to use crown. And needless to say, this one doesn't disappoint at all. The ceramic case and the finishing of the case is also quite nice. More often than not, what we see with a black watch case is a coated spray finish like PVD, for example. And it just doesn't have the same look or the same feel as a brushed surface does. And I really like the brushed ceramic on this one. Finally, we have the flyback chronograph. 
Now, if you're not familiar, a flyback chronograph can function like a standard chronograph. The top pusher can be used to start and stop the timing function, and the bottom pusher can reset it when the timer is stopped. However, with a flyback, you don't need to stop the chronograph to reset it. You can actuate the bottom pusher and immediately reset the timer to zero, where it will continue to run. That's an extra layer of complication to an already complicated function. In looking at the dial, we have a set of high-polished squared-off hands with a small pointer tip, which looks great. And we have a mix of high-polished markers, rectangles at the 3, 6, 9, and 12 positions, and circles throughout the rest. The tri-compact subdial layout, it's a familiar triple register chronograph presentation with the 30-minute totalizer at the 3-hour position and the 12-hour totalizer at the 9-hour position. Now, one cool feature about this dial is the active running seconds subdial, and specifically the small seconds hand, which has a small loom-filled lollipop tip. It's a nice little detail that sets it apart from the other registers and gives you loom for low light legibility even on that seconds hand. The dial also features a date complication between the four and the five hour positions, giving you yet another complication to a watch that's already packed with features. Finally, let's take a quick look at that outstanding sailcloth strap with ceramic pin buckle. Black cloth with black stitching. The strap is modestly bolstered with padding, and it's lined for on-the-wrist comfort. It's a top-notch strap, in my opinion. Even if I do, probably more often than not prefer bracelets to straps, generally speaking anyway. Overall, a truly impressive watch from a historic watchmaker, and a real privilege to have had the opportunity to check it out and share it with you guys. Blancpain is a brand that I don't see getting talked about often enough, and I do think that when it comes to brand history and heritage, it's probably one of the most important brands in the business.